Hello everyone, here's a quick video to show you how you can scan multiple pages into a single PDF document and submit the same in Google Classroom. So let's open up our Google Classroom, ensure that you're in your student account and then let us enter the class. So I'm entering standard 3 and there's the assignment that I want to submit my work in English language. So I will select that assignment and I can see at the bottom it says your work. So let me pull up on this little arrow here and now I can see a button with a plus sign which says add work so I tap that and out of these options I select scanner. This is now going to open my camera and I can see the page that I am ready to scan. So ensure you hold your camera directly over the page and that the entire page is visible. So if I were to do this then obviously some part of the page would be cut out if I were to do this that's not a good angle so hold it straight over your page make sure you've got good lighting if you don't have good lighting you can use the flash so you can see the flash icon here on my screen so you can turn it on so that it would take a so that the flash would work when you take the shot okay you have to be a little careful that there is no reflection because that can spoil your scan so I'll just set it on auto since I'm in a nicely brightly lit area and I will now take the photograph so there I can see my image has been captured I select ok but look what's happening it seems that part of my image is cut although I had made sure that the entire image was there the entire page was visible when I took the shot not to worry all we need to do is crop this so the crop icon is the one on the right the extreme right let's tap that and now I see blue dots and blue lines so whatever is within this blue area the blue lined area will be what is coming in the scan so let me adjust these lines so if I were to pull on the center circle it will move the entire line as you can see and if I need to do any fine tuning then I can select an individual circle like the one on this corner and I will pull it up and there is also a preview that you can see a magnifying that part which I am pulling so that will help me to get nice and precise so now that I am sure that everything is within these blue lines I am ready to select done okay. one tip is make sure that the blue lines are parallel to your text okay so it should not be like this but it should be parallel to the text okay. and now we select done isn't that much better okay so the first page has been scanned below the image we can see one slash one so that shows me one page has been scanned so far I am now ready to add a second page so to do that I will select the icon on the bottom left which is a square with a plus sign my camera has opened up and now let's go to the page that I want to scan is that I want to scan in this is my second page now if I am using an exercise book and I have to make sure that it's not like this otherwise you know the text which is on the side there will not appear in my scan so flatten your page so that everything is visible okay. and of course if you need to then you can use your flash just make sure there's no reflection when you do that best is to find a well-lit area maybe be in front of a window where you get good natural light Hold your phone steady and when you're ready, we're going to take the shot. Okay, let's say okay. And this is what has appeared. So once again, I will now crop this. Making sure that everything that I would like my teacher to see is going to be within the blue lines. 
okay that looks good my lines look parallel to the text maybe this can be adjusted a little better and now I say done so there we go we can now see under the image 2 slash 2 which shows me the second page two page this is the second page out of two pages and if I were to swipe to the right I can see there's my first page swipe to the left there's my second page okay so this is one of two and this is two of two now another important thing is that we rename this document so right on the top you can see scanned and then there are some numbers so if I tap on that that's the title it will open up this little edit area and now I can rename this to whatever I'd like for example English and I say OK. So there we can see English.pdf. So it's going to save as a PDF. And now that everything is fine, I would press save. If I find I'm still not very happy, it can happen that sometimes your page has not been scanned in the correct orientation. It may be looking upside down or sideways. So in that case, you can use the center icon, which will allow you to rotate the page. Or you can even use this palette icon here on the left. That's the second icon from the left. And this will bring up filters where I can choose to have a black and white filter. So it will all appear in black and white. Or color if I've done a color drawing for instance. So choose the one that makes your scan look the best. In some cases you might just want to select none. So I'm going to select color since I think this is what looks good over here. And now that everything is set, I have my title on the top. I have my pages scanned in. Of course, if I were to need to scan in a third page, then you know what would be done. I would just tap on the icon there and once again position and take the photograph and say OK. And there you can see page 3 of 3. Again, let's quickly adjust it. Keep it parallel to the text. Okay, and say done. And there I have my third page, page 3 of 3. Right, so you can add as many pages as you like into this document. Once you are done with it all, then tap save okay if i wish to delete this third page before saving then i would press on this little minus icon on the right and now my third page which is the current page showing here will go and i'm back to just two pages okay so now let's say save and that's it it's coming directly into my google classroom into my assignment so just wait till you ensure that it has fully loaded this will depend on the internet speed that you have at your end so now I can see my English PDF is uploaded over here and I can hand this in so it says hand in your work okay and I'll say hand in and there we go so it's as simple as that to scan in your work, have multiple pages, no problem, scan them into a single PDF and attach them into your assignment in Google Classroom and hand in.